Have you ever stopped to think about the importance of forests in our world and the impact logging might have on them? Consider for a moment the forest, a landscape that is more than just a collection of trees standing tall. It's a complex, active ecosystem, a world within our world, home to countless flora and fauna. It's vibrant and ever-changing, mirroring the seasons with its dramatic transformations. In spring, the forest is a riot of colors with flowers in bloom. In summer, it's a lush green canopy offering cool shade. The fall paints it with warm hues and winter casts a serene, silent spell. Each tree in the forest tells a story, a chronicle of years marked in the rings of their trunks. They stand as silent witnesses to the passing of seasons and years, watching over the countless creatures that call the forest their home. From the tiniest insects burrowing in the soil to the majestic birds soaring high above the canopy, these creatures form a complex web of life. Now, imagine this forest as the world's lungs, inhaling carbon dioxide and exhaling life-giving oxygen, facilitating the very cycle of life. Consider the trees as nature's engineers, their roots burrowing deep into the soil, preventing erosion and landslides. They are nature's umbrellas, their vast canopies catching the rain and regulating the water cycle. They are nature's custodians, housing an immense variety of species, preventing the extinction of numerous creatures. Consider their role as the world's air purifiers, clearing toxins and pollutants from the atmosphere. Their leaves act as filters, catching dust and other particles, cleansing the air we breathe. But this isn't just about air and water. Forests also play a crucial role in climate regulation, their massive size having a direct impact on global temperatures. Yet, this beautiful, thriving, life-giving entity is under threat. The threat comes not from natural disasters, but from the very creatures it nurtures, humans. The process of logging, cutting down trees to create logs, is as old as civilization itself. It's a necessary activity, providing us with timber for construction, fuel for heating, and raw materials for innumerable products we use daily. However, when done irresponsibly, the effects can be devastating. The clear cutting of forests, the removal of all the trees in an area, disrupts this delicate balance. The loud roar of chainsaws, the thud of mighty trees falling, the buzz of activity as logs are hauled away. These noises signal a change that can reverberate through the entire ecosystem. The implications of irresponsible logging are far-reaching. The loss of trees leads to soil erosion, the disruption of water cycles, a decrease in biodiversity, loss of habitats and a significant increase in carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere. The balance of nature is disrupted and the ripple effects can be felt across the globe. As we stand on the edge of this vibrant forest, we're left with a profound question. How do we balance our need for resources with the imperative to protect and preserve these vital ecosystems? How do we ensure the survival of the forest, not just for ourselves, but for generations to come? These are questions that require immediate attention, thoughtful deliberation, and responsible action. For the forest isn't just a collection of trees, it's a world teeming with life, playing a crucial role in maintaining the equilibrium of planet, a place where a story is constantly unfolding. Now, let's delve into the heart of the forest, where a story is about to unfold. Deep within the forest, a vibrant community of animals thrives, each playing their unique part in the grand circle of life. Harness your imaginations and envision a world where every creature, regardless of size or stature, has a distinct role to play, a designated purpose to fulfill. This isn't a figment of an animated movie. This is the astounding reality of our forest's rich and varied animal kingdom, a realm teeming with life, bustling with activity, pulsating with rhythm of nature. In this vibrant community, every sunrise brings with it an enchanting symphony the harmonious concert of myriad birds. These feathered beings are the original musicians of nature, their lilting melodies filling the air, marking the commencement of another day in the verdant woods. From the sonorous tunes of the songbirds to the guttural calls of the crows, each brings a unique note to this primeval orchestra. 
Among the beautiful chaos, the deer roam about, their graceful strides painting a picture of serenity. They forage for tender leaves and succulent shoots, their twitching tails a signal of contentment. Their gentle ways a testament to the peaceful existence that the forest has to offer. Sharing the forest floor are the rabbits, their twitching noses always alert, perky ears constantly on the listen. They nibble on fresh, dew-kissed grass, their soft, fuzzy bodies a delightful contrast to the rugged terrain they call home. Venture a little deeper and you'll find the industrious ants. Constantly on the move, they are a testament to the power of teamwork and unity. They work relentlessly, scurrying about, gathering food and expanding their labyrinthine colonies beneath the forest floor. Their intricate pathways crisscrossing underground a clear demonstration of their architectural prowess. The squirrels are another set of busy workers, their nimble bodies darting swiftly up and down the trees. They gather nuts in the verdant canopy, storing them meticulously for the colder, harsher months their sharp, intelligent eyes always alert, scanning the surroundings for potential threats or food sources. In the forest's heart, the bear, bear, the undisputed king, rules with an air of magnificence. He is the apex predator, a force to reckon with, yet his diet isn't solely about hunting. He enjoys a good share of berries, roots, and honey. His varied dietary habits, a stark reminder of the diverse feeding patterns that exist in the animal kingdom. As night falls, the forest undergoes a transformation. The nocturnal creatures awaken from their daytime slumber. The owls, with their hypnotic eyes and silent wings, take to the inky skies. Their hoots echoing in the stillness, they scour the ground for their prey. The foxes, with their fiery coats, prowl the forest floor their keen senses guiding them through the darkness. The forest is more than just a habitat for these animals. It is their supermarket, their playground, their sanctuary, their home. It provides them with their sustenance, the food they eat, the water they drink, the shelter they need. It is an intricate web of life where each creature is interdependent on the other, a complex yet beautifully balanced ecosystem. Everything within this kingdom exists in harmonious synchronization, a testament to nature's ingenious and perfect design. This harmony, this balance, is a delicate dance performed by the creatures and the forest. It is a dance that requires every participant to play its part meticulously. But what happens when their home, their sanctuary, comes under threat? One fateful day, the peace of the forest is shattered by the sound of machines and men, as the sun ascends higher, penetrating the tree canopy, the usual sweet whispers of the leaves are overthrown by an alien clatter that seems to violate the forest's age-old serenity. The forest, a place that has always been a melodious symphony of natural harmony, now echoes with a discordant and grating buzz of chainsaws and the violent thunderous thump of falling trees. The day begins with a disturbance that shakes the forest to its roots, marking a profound shift in the rhythm of this idyllic haven. From the deepest, most tranquil heart of this serene wilderness, a new and tumultuous force has unceremoniously made its entry. This force, a logging company, equipped and armed with their colossal and monstrous machines, has jarringly arrived on the tranquil scene. Their mission, as glaringly clear as the first light of morning sun is to ruthlessly harvest the towering and majestic timber that stands proudly throughout the expansive woods. These men, clad in stark attention-grabbing hard hats and reflective vests, move with a purposeful stride that denotes their single-minded focus. Their voices, heavy with an unwavering determination, reverberate off the tree trunks, replacing the usual harmonic chorus of chirping birds with a discordant human chatter. The forest, a place that was once a safe sanctuary for all its innocent inhabitants, now precariously stands on the brink of a massive transformation. As these men commence their operations, the forest seems to tremble under the sheer force of their actions. Every tree that is felled sends a resonating shockwave through the earth, a silent scream echoing in the hearts of the forest's inhabitants. 
The animals, who once frolicked, carefree and joyous within this woodland, now watch in silent and terrified horror as their homes are brutally reduced to mere logs. The forest, their playground, their shelter, their source of nourishment is being stripped bare right before their terrified eyes. Yet the men remain completely oblivious to the drastic devastation they're causing. For them, each tree felled signifies progress, a step closer to achieving their materialistic goal. The loud and droning hum of their machines deafens them to the subtle cries of the forest, creating a cacophony that reverberates relentlessly through the once serene and peaceful landscape. This is not just a mere logging operation. It's a battle, a battle between the old and the new, between nature and man, between preservation and so-called progress. The forest, once a tranquil haven of peace, now painfully stands as a battlefield, its fate precariously hanging in the balance. The forest animals, who were once passive spectators to the forest's natural rhythm, now find themselves thrust onto the front lines of this heart-wrenching battle. Their homes are under a grave threat. Their survival is at an immense stake. The sudden arrival of the logging company has sparked the beginning of a new era. An era ominously marked by conflict, change and an uncertainty that hangs heavy in the air. And so begins a struggle for survival. With their home under threat, the animals must find a way to protect their forest. As the first rays of the sun peep out, painting the sky in a warm orange hue, the forest awakens. Today is unlike any other day. This is the day when the forest animals find themselves on the front lines of a battle for survival, a battle for their home, their safe haven. They are incredibly high, the odds stacked against them seemingly insurmountable. Yet the spirit of the forest is as resilient and indomitable as it is wild, wild, it thrives in the heart of every creature that calls it home. Today, in the depths of the forest, the animals gather. From the tiniest squirrel with its bushy tail to the commanding bear with its powerful stature, each animal shares the same look of determination, a look that resonates with the shared goal, the protection of their home, their forest. To these inhabitants, the forest is much more than merely a collection of trees and foliage. It's their playground, their pantry, their nursery. It is their world, their microcosm. They can't stand by and watch it be destroyed without putting up a fight. By no means are they soldiers, trained in the arts of warfare. But they are warriors in their own unique ways. Each animal, regardless of its size, has a vital role to play in this battle. The birds perched high up in the trees keep an eye from above. Their sharp, focused eyes miss nothing, tracking every movement of the loggers who pose a threat. The swift squirrels, with their nimble bodies, dart from tree to tree, creating a blur of movement that distracts the men. And the bears, their awe-inspiring size and strength, serve as the frontline defense. Their thunderous roars reverberate through the woods, a warning, a challenge. The weapon they wield is their resourcefulness, and their shield is their resilience. They make use of what the forest provides, transforming ordinary things into tools of resistance. They dig tunnels, build barricades, create a cacophony, everything to disrupt the loggers and buy themselves more time. In their unity, they find strength, a sense of camaraderie. They work together, strategizing, coordinating, supporting each other in every possible way. Each action taken, each decision made is the greater good of the forest, their home. They are a team, a family, fighting for their sanctuary. Through their struggle, they exemplify the power of unity, the strength that from resilience and the significance of standing up for what one loves. They remind us that we too have a role to play in protecting our home, our planet. But will their efforts be enough? As the sun dips below the horizon, casting long, eerie shadows over the battleground, the question lingers in the air. The fight for home is not over, it's only the beginning. As the battle for the forest reaches a critical point, a surprising turn of events changes everything. 
Picture this. The forest animals once living in peace are now on the brink of a war for survival. Their tranquil abode, the forest they call home, is under severe threat by the tenacious pursuit of the logging company. Their ruthless machines are persistently tearing through the very soul of the forest, reducing the once towering trees, the grandeur of the woods, to mere chunks of timber. The forest air, once filled with the melody of chirping birds and rustling leaves, is now heavy with the sharp, grating noise of relentless saws, the deafening thud of falling trees, and the harsh commanding voices of the loggers. But the forest dwellers are not your everyday woodland creatures. Animals are clever, resourceful, and determined. They have to be. Their very existence depends on it. They devise a cunning plan, a strategic blueprint that has a potential to change the course of this battle. Under the cover of the intricate patterns of the night sky, they set their plan into motion. The smallest of them, the nimble squirrels and the quick-witted chipmunks. They head to the glistening river under the moonlight. Their task? To toggle the heavy tree logs into the water to send them downstream, away from the menacing reach of the relentless logging company. It's a risky operation, a gamble, but it's their only chance, their only hope. Meanwhile, the larger animals, the mighty bears and the majestic elk, they create diversions. They use their size, their strength, their raw power and their sheer determination to buy precious time for their smaller counterparts. They draw the attention of the loggers away from the river, distracting them from their timber stock. Back at the river, the squirrels and the chipmunks, despite their size, are making significant progress. Log by log, they manage to nudge the timber into the water, watching as the steady current carries them away, away from their threatened home. It's a small victory, but a victory nonetheless. As the first rays of the sun pierce the night sky, the loggers return to find their timber stock drastically reduced. Disbelief turns to shock. Shock turns to confusion, and confusion finally gives way to frustration as they slowly realize their operation has been sabotaged. But by whom? They scratch their heads, their faces contorted in frustration. They could never imagine that the forest animals they had underestimated, they had dismissed as mere creatures, could outsmart them. Sometimes, the smallest actions can have the biggest impact. Their home is not yet safe, but the forest animals have proven that they are not to be underestimated. They have made their stand, shown their courage. This is their turning point. The battle for the forest is far from over, but now they have hope. They have shown that they will not go down without a fight. They have shown that their home matters, their existence matters. The forest battle continues, but now they have ignited a spark of hope. The forest animals have proven that they are a force to reckon with. They have taken the first step towards their victory. They have shown that no matter how small you are, how insignificant you might seem, you can make a difference. With the dust settled, let's take a moment to reflect on what transpired. As we completed our journey through the vivid world inhabited by our forest friends, we have been privileged to bear witness to a tale that is as enduring as time itself. A tale that is not unique, but instead one that has been told in many forms throughout the annals of history. This tale is an age-old struggle, a perpetual clash of needs, the ceaseless rhythm of existence and survival. The setting of our tale is the forest, a sanctuary where peace and harmony reign supreme, a place where the gentle murmur of leaves rustling in the wind and the sweet song of birds going about their daily lives form a tranquil symphony that is music to the ears. This proud and ancient forest, home to countless lives, was suddenly and without warning thrust into a whirlwind of chaos and tumultuous upheaval. The catalyst for this upheaval was the unannounced arrival of a logging company. Armed with their deafening monstrous machinery and fueled by towering ambitions, they shattered the tranquil symphony of the forest. Their intrusion was an unwelcome one, a violation of the sacred sanctity of the forest. The animals, 
each unique and possessing their own distinct sets of skills and strengths, found themselves united in their fight for their home. This was not a fight for mere territory, a piece of land, no, this was a fight for life itself. They braced themselves, standing against the might and force of human ambition, reminding us in no uncertain terms of the indomitable, undefeated spirit of nature. In the very heart of their struggle, we observed courage, resilience, and unity of effort and purpose. We watched as the forest animals stood tall against adversity, their spirits unbroken. Their fight was not just for themselves, but for the future of their sanctuary their home. As we reflect on their journey, we see not merely a tale of struggle and conflict, but a profound story of survival. A story that reverberates with echoes of the harsh realities of our own world. The forests that cover the vast expanses of our planet, serving as the lungs our Earth, face similar threats every single day. These forests, too, are homes to countless creatures with each playing a pivotal role in the intricate, complex web of life. When we contemplate the aftermath of such a situation, the impact extends far beyond the borders of the forest. The ripple effects of such actions reach us all. Each tree that is felled, each habitat that is lost, sends shockwaves through our global ecosystem. It's not just about the loss of biodiversity, it's about the balance of our planet the quality of our air, the health of our future. The forest story is not a tale confined to the two-dimensional world of animation or the three-dimensional realm of CGI. It is a reflection of our own world, of our own actions. It serves as a stark, undeniable reminder of the delicate balance that exists between progress and preservation. It is a balance that must be maintained if not for us, then for the generations yet to come. The forest story is our story too. Now, having witnessed the story of the forest, what can we do to ensure its preservation? Let us delve deeper into the significance of this question. It's time for us to take responsibility and rise to the occasion. We've experienced firsthand the profound of the forest, and we have seen the intricate tapestry of life it houses. We have observed how the serene existence of our woodland companions is disturbed and disrupted by reckless logging activities. It's disheartening to witness how their homes are decimated without a second thought for the delicate balance that exists in these ecosystems. Our first step then must be to enlighten ourselves, to teach ourselves about the priceless value the forest and understand the critical role it plays in maintaining the health of our planet. We must recognize that sustainable forestry isn't just a trendy phrase, but an absolute necessity for our survival. The forest isn't just a resource to be consumed, but a complex living entity that needs to be conserved and protected. We have to understand that a balance between consumption and conservation is not merely an option, but a dire necessity. It's time for us to think beyond ourselves, to understand that our actions have far-reaching impacts. Our insatiable desire for consumption has brought us to the brink of catastrophe. We have to change. Next, we must support responsible logging companies. Look for those who are certified for their sustainable practices. Companies that don't just extract resources, but actively contribute to replenishing them. They ensure that for every tree cut down, another is planted, maintaining the cycle of life in our forests. Consider reducing your paper consumption because every piece of paper we use has a direct impact on our forests. Think before you print and when you do, ensure you're using both sides of the paper. Recycle whenever possible and opt for products made from recycled materials. The benefits of recycling are manifold. It not only the pressure on our forests, but also decreases the amount of waste ends up in our landfills. Finally, spread the word, start conversations, engage in debates, and raise awareness about the importance of forest conservation. Encourage your friends and family to join you in these efforts. Together, we can bring about change. Every small step that we take, every action that we undertake, counts towards preserving our forests, the lungs of our planet, 
So, let us pledge to rethink our actions, to be mindful of our consumption, to recycle, and to spread awareness. For our forests aren't just a collection of trees, they are the lifeblood of our planet, home to species, and a source of unimaginable beauty. Each one of us has a role to play. Will you join the fight to protect our forests?